Princess Anne accidentally kicked her third cousin Princess Olga during a dance, according to the descendant of Tsar Nicholas II. Princess Olga said the awkward incident took place as she was chasing the same man as the Princess Royal. She told the Daily Telegraph, we both were chasing the same man. Doing an eightsome together at the barracks, I was a little slow on the turn and the royal foot came out and kicked me. Princess Olga doesn't hold any grudge, as she said she admires enormously Princess Anne. The hard-working royal, Princess Olga said, has taken after her father Prince Philip when it comes to being no-nonsense. She said, I admire her enormously now. She's sensible. There's no bulls asterisk 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 with her, either. Speaking about Prince Philip shortly before he died, Princess Olga revealed she regarded him almost as a hero. She said, I would love to have met him when he was younger because he is almost a hero of mine. I just think he's wonderful because a, he's very good looking. b, he doesn't take bulls asterisk 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 asterisk. He says it how it is even if he gets into trouble. Speaking about Princess Anne, Princess Olga also noted they share the same passion for horses and horse riding. Princess Anne is the patron of several charities linked to horse riding, breeding and the horse's well-being. Moreover, she is a skilled rider herself and has taken part in several competitions in the 1970s. In 1976, Princess Anne made history by becoming the first member of the royal family to take part in the Olympic Games. Princess Olga, who is to appear tonight on the ITV documentary The Queen and Her Cousins with Alexander Armstrong, is the daughter of Prince Andrei Alexandrovich of Russia, the eldest nephew of Russia's last Tsar. She is related to the Queen as King George V was first cousin of Nicholas II. Princess Anne is the Queen and Prince Philip's only doubtler and one of the firm's hardest working members. Despite the ongoing coronavirus pandemic initially forced royals to cancel most of their engagements, Princess Anne managed to still work 145 days in 2020 and carry out 148 duties. Much like the Queen and other key royals, Princess Anne embraced technology to continue carry on with her work and remain in touch with her patronages. On top of the dozens of video calls and meetings she attended in 2020, she also took part in the final installment of Save with Stories. This was an initiative aiming to support children and families hit the hardest by the pandemic launched by her charity patronage Save the Children. Princess Anne, who became president of Save the Children more than five decades ago, filmed herself reading a Thomas the Tank Engine story.